As we gear up for Tyson Fury match against Husik, it is important we don't have any drama this time, and the only way to avoid it is to ensure the playground is fair. As much as you all try to berate AJ and Daniel Dubua, we don't want to see another drama of body shot controversy. For those of you think Alexander Husik is unstoppable, here is the video again for your own critical thinking. This time around, we don't want another delay where a fighter sits and take time to recover from what was supposed to be a legit low blow. In the upcoming bout between Tyson Fury and Alexander Husik, there's a significant focus on ensuring fair play. Husik's previous fight with Daniel Dubois sparked controversy, with accusations of shots landing below the belt. To maintain the integrity of the sport and avoid any potential controversies, Fury's team must be vigilant in ensuring that Husik's shots are aimed waist high. I am part of the few who believes Daniel Dubua should be the unified champion by now, and sincerely, that was not a low blow but a legit body shot. But what happened, the same referee who did it against Anthony Joshua, was the same one against Daniel Dubua and gave Alexander Husik enough time to recover. While Tyson Fury may prime himself a bigger man, Husik shot up to his belly button may be a legit way to cheat and claim victory. We all know Husik is prone to body shots, and people still don't understand why Tyson lost a lot of weight. Tyson is not coming with the intention of targeting Husik's body. Tyson plans to fight and make Husik commit. This was Anthony Joshua's mistake in the second fight. AJ practically showed he trained for body shots, rather coming for Husik's face. That won't be Tyson Fury, but when the body open up, Husik will get one of the nasty body shots he has never received in his career. Boxing, like any sport, relies on fair play and adherence to the rules. Shots below the belt not only give an unfair advantage, but also pose a risk to the opponent's safety. By emphasizing the importance of clean and legal shots, Fury's team can set a standard for sportsmanship and uphold the principles of fair competition. Husik is a skilled boxer with a reputation for his technical prowess. However, allegations of cheating can tarnish his image and cast a shadow over his achievements. To avoid any doubts or speculation, it's crucial for both fighters to compete within the boundaries of the rules. Husik sparred using orthodox stance, but Tyson showed him he's the king at mind games. He sparred using a southpaw stance. In the lead-up to the fight, Fury's team should communicate with the referees and officials to ensure they are aware of the importance of monitoring shot placement. Clear communication and a commitment to fair play will not only benefit the fighters, but also enhance the overall viewing experience for fans. So, like Jay's said in one of his song Death of Auto-Tune DOA, put your skirt back down, grow a set man. We don't want Husik Short going close to his belly button. As the anticipation for the undisputed heavyweight clash between Tyson Fury and Oleksandr Husik grows, Fury has been making headlines with his bold and provocative statements aimed at his opponent. Known for his mind games outside the ring as much as his prowess inside it, Fury is leaving no stone unturned in his quest to unsettle Husik, Husik who is also proving the mind game not working. In recent interviews and social media posts, Fury has been baiting Husik with taunts and jibes, questioning his credentials as a true heavyweight and suggesting that Husik is not in the same league as him. But walking out with a walking stick makes people think Husik will beat Fury, but it seems everyone is falling for it. Fury has also been quick to point out Husik's relatively smaller size compared to the traditional heavyweight frame, implying that he may not possess the power to challenge Fury in the ring. Fury's mind games are nothing new, as he has employed similar tactics in previous fights to gain a mental edge over his opponents. However, with the undisputed heavyweight title on the line, the stakes are higher than ever, and Fury is ramping up his efforts to get inside Husik's head. But all the mind games might go to waste. If his team doesn't address Husik not dragging his short close to his belly button, Husik, known for his calm and composed demeanor, has so far remained unfazed by Fury's antics, choosing to focus on his training and preparation for the fight. However, Fury's mind games are sure to add an extra layer of intrigue to what is already shaping up to be a historic showdown between two of the best heavyweights in the world. But again, this fight should tell all of us if Husik is prone to getting body shots or not. As the fight date draws nearer, 
all eyes will be on Fury and Husik to see who will emerge victorious in this battle of wits and skills. Whatever the outcome, one thing is for certain, this will be a fight for the ages. Fair play is essential in boxing, and both fighters have a responsibility to uphold the rules of the sport. By ensuring that Husik's shots are on target and remain on the waist, Fury's team can demonstrate their commitment to sportsmanship and integrity, setting a positive example for the boxing community. But then, who do think will win this fight? I've got Tyson Fury just because you all think he is bum. Let me know what you think in the comments section.